In the ethereal realm of Japanese mythology, where deities and spirits intertwined, there lived a benevolent god named Ebisu. As the patron of fishermen and the harbinger of good fortune, Ebisu's presence brought prosperity and joy to all who crossed his path. Once upon a time, in a quaint fishing village nestled along the rugged coastline, there lived a young fisherman named Taro. Despite his unwavering efforts, Taro's nets remained empty, leaving him and his family on the brink of starvation. Desperation gnawed at his heart as he watched his loved ones suffer. One fateful evening, as the sun began its descent, Taro ventured out to sea once more. As he cast his nets into the shimmering waters, he felt a gentle tug on the line. With trembling hands, he hauled in his catch, only to find a peculiar sight. Instead of the usual fish, a small, plump man with a cheerful countenance and a fishing rod in hand emerged from the depths. The man introduced himself as Ebisu, the god of fishermen. Fear not, young Taro, Ebisu said with a warm smile. I have heard your prayers and come to your aid. From this day forward, your nets shall be filled with an abundance of fish. Overjoyed, Taro thanked Ebisu profusely. As the god disappeared into the twilight, Taro's nets miraculously overflowed with the finest catch he had ever seen. The village rejoiced as Taro's newfound prosperity spread throughout the community. Word of Ebisu's generosity reached the ears of a greedy and envious man named Jiro. Driven by avarice, Jiro sought to exploit the god's kindness for his own selfish gain. One night, Jiro approached Ebisu with a cunning plan. Oh, benevolent god, he said, feigning humility, I have heard tales of your boundless fortune. I beg you to grant me a single wish. Ebisu, ever compassionate, agreed to Jiro's request. With a wicked gleam in his eye, Jiro uttered, I wish for all the fish in the sea to be mine alone. Ebisu's face darkened with anger. Your greed knows no bounds, Jiro, he thundered. For your selfishness, you shall be punished. With a flick of his wrist, Ebisu transformed Jiro into a grotesque sea monster, forever cursed to roam the depths of the ocean. From that day forward, Ebisu's legend grew throughout the land. Fishermen would pray to him for bountiful catches, and merchants would invoke his name for good luck in their ventures. As the centuries passed, Ebisu became a beloved figure in Japanese culture. His image, often depicted as a smiling man holding a fishing rod and a large sea bream, adorned temples, shrines, and homes. In the bustling streets of Tokyo, the Ebisu district became a vibrant hub of commerce and entertainment. The Ebisu Shrine, dedicated to the god, attracted countless visitors seeking blessings and good fortune. And so, the legacy of Ebisu, the god of fishermen and luck, continued to inspire and bring joy to generations of Japanese people. His benevolent spirit served as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, hope and prosperity could always be found.